Today's question comes from James, and his question is very simple. He says, any tips on how to stop comparing your own BJJ journey to someone else's? And so, you know, again, he's going into the gym, and he's kind of comparing a lot of the different people that he's training with, and he's comparing the results that they're having versus his results, and he's wondering, how do you deal with that? How do you stop doing that? Because he knows it's not a good thing, right? So check this out, James. Good question. The thing is, is comparing can be good, but you got to c- c- compare the right things, I guess you would say. What you're doing right now is you're comparing the end result, right? You're going in and saying, well, I started at this time, and then hopefully you're comparing people of similar age and weight and like normal, st- like all the stuff that you would have to compare, right? Because if you're, you know, maybe in your 30s with a kids and you can train twice a week and you're comparing yourself to a, a 20 year old that trains twice a day, it's going to be a bad comparison. It's not apples and apples. But assuming that you're comparing yourself to comparable people, you're looking at this end result and you're saying, man, like they're this far ahead of me and ah, man, this sucks, right? What you've got to actually think about comparing, and this is what's really useful. This is what I've done with pretty much everything that I've done in life. And it's been a good, it's been really useful is that I'll look at someone who's further ahead of me. I'll look at someone who maybe is killing me as far as their progress in comparison. And I'll say, what are they doing? Not so much where are they at, I want to know what they're doing. Because what they're doing is what's making that happen, right? What they're doing is making that process. And so I will do everything that I can to dissect that. So when I was training in jiu-jitsu very early on, if there was someone that was pretty good, I would watch and like, well, how do they train? Do they drill a lot? What kind of foods do they eat? Is there any particular food they eat when they come to training? Like, what are some of the training tips they have, right? And I would just like ask them questions, you know, about how this happened. I remember meeting um, one of my mentors, Al. Met him in the gym and I was asking him all kinds of questions because he was a guy who had money and I came from a very poor family. How did you make money? How did you do this? What did you do? You know, I would just ask him all these questions about how he got to here. So again, humans, we are what we are. Monkey see, monkey do. And so again, I, that's what I've always done. I don't, I don't really care about where you're at now or where I'm at now. I just want to know what your process is because that's what I want to follow. And so for you, what I would say to you is if you're looking in the gym and you're looking at people that are further ahead of you or they're beating you or whatever, whatever thing is, is, is getting under your skin related to the comparison thing, don't be so worried about the end result. Think about like, all right, what is the process they're actually using? What are they doing differently than me? And try to take away little nuggets of wisdom from that and then implement those. So if you talk to them, like, what kind of foods do you eat before training, bro? Because you've got tons of energy. Take that middle, middle. They're eating some sweet potatoes. Oh, okay, sweet potatoes, right? Or if they go in and you notice, like, man, they always stretch after class and they don't seem to ever get injured because they're always stretching. Well, what are you going to be doing? Oh, let's start stretching a little bit, right? You know, you get the idea. So, again, it, comparison can be, as they say, the thief of joy, but it can also be a really useful tool if you compare the right thing. And the right thing is the process. So, hopefully that helps you, James. And, guys, I'll talk to you next time.